Let's talk about therapy materials for a moment. I wanted to show you how I organize my telepractice therapy materials, many of which I've scanned, and also to give you some examples. So as you can see here, I have a screenshot of my telepractice folder. And within that folder, I have all of the different folders for the different areas that I might address with different online clients. And this just allows me quick access to whatever it is that I need for that particular session. So whether I'm working with an articulation client or whether it's language or fluency, I can quickly go to these folders and share a file and so on. Sometimes you may be asked to email or fax or upload the, any documents to a secure site. You might also be asked to participate in meetings via video conferencing or sometimes over Skype or over the phone. As far as communication with parents, a lot of times the requirement is just that you make your reports as parent friendly as possible not using a lot of speechy jargon, and just making it very accessible to parents. The requirement to do assessments will vary upon the caseload and based on the school contract. But what's nice about assessments is that there are a lot of digitized assessment tools that are now available commercially. So for example, the SELF or the Goldman Fristo, there's just a lot of different tests that now have a digital version. So you can project the stimulus book on the screen and you can go through it that way. Of course, you still need a facilitator on the other end that's helping you through. So if they're pointing, that they indicate to you somehow what the child is pointing to because obviously you can't see. So there's some training involved of the adult facilitator to make sure that they're going to help you and not in any way invalidate the testing process or in some way interfere with that child's you know, responses and so on, but it's very doable. There are various platforms or video conferencing software options. And if you're going to be doing this on your own, just look into the different companies that offer video conferencing and just make sure that Again, it's going to provide you interactive audio and video connection in real time, that there's some kind of screen sharing interface, that it's private and secure so that you're HIPAA compliant. It's really nice too if you find one that allows for recording the session. And this becomes really useful if you want to show progress either to the client or maybe to a parent. If you're working with a company, some may provide touchscreen computers, which become really nice for little ones, especially if you're working with younger children in telepractice. 